and welcome to another YouTube video. This YouTube video is going to be looking at the division problems I set you. I gave you some green numbers and some blue numbers. I've done a selection on my page here to show you and I asked you to take one of the green numbers and divide it by one of the blue numbers. So I'm going to start a problem. I'm going to pick 20 divided by 5. Now one thing you can do with 20 divided by 5 is you might actually be able to work this out really quickly by using your times table knowledge and going actually I know what I would times 5 by to get 20 so that's going to be the answer. Um, I'm going to come back to that in a moment because I want to show you the practical way of working it out. Now we need to have our 10s and 1 counters. So firstly I have two 10s and I'm going to draw this and I have no ones. And then what I've got to do is I've got to see how many groups of five I can find here. And well, I don't have five ten counters, so actually that's not really much help for me here. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go to the ones counters. So I'm going to have to take these tens and move them over because I can't there aren't five counters here, so I can't say there are ten groups. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to take all of these and make them into ones. So I'm going to take this ten and I'm going to exchange it for ten ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that has been exchanged over now. And you'll notice I can actually start getting some fives out of this. But I'm not going to waste this ten either. And I'm going to move this, I'm just going to check you can see that. And I'm going to move this over for 10 ones as well. So you'll notice I've taken my two tens and I've broken them up into 10 ones. I've partitioned them out that way. And the reason why is because I didn't have five 10 counters. If I had five 10 counters, I could have grouped them in and said, look, there's 10 fives everywhere here. But because there wasn't, I've not been able to do that. So now what I can do is see how many groups of five I can find here. One, two, three, four, five. There's one group. There's two groups. There's three groups, and there is four groups. So the answer is four, because there were four groups of five. Now, I'm going to actually show you another one um, with a number actually I didn't give you, because I want to explain what was going on with the tens here. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to do 60 divided by five using the same method. Because you'll see, when I do 60 divided by five, I'll get to do something with the tens. So I think that would be really useful for you to see. So firstly, I draw out my 60, same as I did um, with my 20, and I have six tens. Now you'll notice, now when I look at here, I can actually see there is a group of five here. Because remember, I'm dividing by five. Now that means I've already got 10 in my answer. So my answer is going to be 10 plus however many ones I have. So, I can't split this one up, so what I need to do is I need to change it over and partition it, like I did before. And this time it's ones, so I've moved it over. And I'm going to see how many fives I can find there. There's a group of five there. So there was two groups there. So it was ten plus two, so I have 10, 11, 12. So there's a 12. So you can see, imagine there were five people at the party. Well, here, within this group of five tens, we all get 10 each. And then over this 10 split into ones, we all get one each from this set and one each from this set. So if this was sweets, I would get 10 sweets here, and I'd get another sweet here and another sweet here. So I'd have 10, 11, 12. And so would everyone else in the party there. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this with a slightly bigger number. I'm going to show you this with 240 um, divided by 5 as well. I'm going to stick with divided by 5 actually. So I'm going to have um, 240 divided 
by five. So I have some hundreds this time. I've got two hundreds and I've got four tens. Now I always start with the largest number first. Are there five here? No, there's only two. So I'm going to have to move both of these over. So that means I'm going to create ten tens here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And they're all going to have ten in. And I've got to do the same with this one. One, hopefully you can still see the picture there. Two, three, let's just check that's clear. Brilliant. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to go on hunt for five tens here. So I've got, oh, there we go, there's five there. There is five there. There is five there. One, two, three, four, five there. So I've got one, two, three, four tens each. So I'm going to have 40 in my answer. But annoyingly I don't have five here so these tens have got to move over into ones and there's going to be lots of them I think I'm going to go underneath if that's um, okay because I've got I need a bit of space here because I've got to have ten here can you see that yep I'm going to have ten here ten here ten here and ten over here so let's get let's get going a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, loads and loads of counters here. I'm going to make these all ones because I've taken four tens and I've made them into forty ones. Oh, I'm just uh, while I'm doing this, so I'm just thinking that first question I asked you was 20 divided by 5. And the answer we ended up coming up using my methods was 4. And that might, have, uh, some of you might have already known that because, of course, 4 times 5 is 20. All right, how many 5s can I get? I can get one there, one there, one there. I look quite like doing this because it looks very much like Numicon pieces. So you can visually see it really quickly. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I had four tens, um, four groups of tens, so I had 40. I have eight groups of ones, so I have eight. So the answer is 40 plus eight, which is 48. Um, I'm going to do one last one. I want to do one with a remainder, so I'm going to do 45 divided by 2. I'm going to use the same method. Now, I will do a challenge in maths video this week where I'm going to show you short division. So if you want to have a go at short division without the pictures, check out my challenge video, okay? Anyway, 45 divided by 2. 1, 2, 3, 4 tens. There's my 40. And 5 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I've got ones there. Oh, this is going to be a much nicer one to do because I'm not going to have to do a lot of exchanging here because can I gr um, group my tens into groups of two? Yes, I can. So I've got 10, 20. There's two groups of 10, so I've got 20 in my answer. Can I group my fives into my ones into twos? Yeah, I've got a two there and I've got a two there. So that's two. But I've got this little person here that is on his own. He can't be paired up, so this is my remainder. So I've got 20 plus 2 with a remainder of 1. So I've got 22, and I put an R in for my remainder, a remainder of 1. Good luck, have a go, create some problems. If you would like to have a go at short division, um, check out my challenge um, video. And for now, goodbye and keep learning.